You guys, do you notice something different? I freaking have a couch. Okay, today I'm gonna do a Zara and Mango haul. So I didn't order too much stuff from Zara to be able to do a Zara haul, like only a Zara haul. But as I ordered also some stuff from Mango, I thought that it was just the perfect occasion to do like a mix of things. Oh my gosh, I couldn't be more comfortable today. I am honestly the comfiest I've ever been. This is, this is awesome. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with Mango because I know you guys wanna see Zara. So I'm gonna start with Mango. And actually, you know what? I think that we are sleeping on Mango. Mango also, where the fuck? <laughs> I got it. We are definitely sleeping on mango, so I'm gonna start with mango because I think that mango needs an audible mention today. So, first thing I got is this dress. I am not sure if this is satin or this is silk. I could actually check. The quality of this is actually insane. Oh no, this is acrylic. Well, now I don't feel that good about this. So I guess this is silk then. This is satin, I mean. I think that this was like 129 euros, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna put the price on the screen, okay, for you guys? So, this dress. This is a satin dress. It has this kind of gathering right here on the waist. It has a slit on the leg. The neck is kind of like a, how is this neck called? Like high neck? High neck top, I guess? This dress, like look at this dress, is beautiful i'm actually like so mad because it is really expensive like this is an expensive dress you know when you buy something and you hope it's not gonna be too good so you hope um okay it's expensive let me just try it and i know that i'm gonna return it i'm sure that it's gonna disappoint me well this did not disappoint like this actually did quite the opposite i am so obsessed with it it's beautiful the gathering here at the waist is super flattering it looks so good also from the back no like i'm not okay it's so beautiful from the back like it's really flattering now i'm thinking where the freak am i gonna wear this dress like i need an occasion to wear it right so i'm kind of still thinking about it like should i keep it like it's really beautiful but it's really expensive so i need to keep the price in mind when I decide to keep it or not, but it's gorgeous. Next up I got from Zara, it's from Mango, I mean, it's one of my favorite pieces from this entire haul. I actually made that Mango purchase because of this item and this is beautiful. I was looking for kind of maybe pink or like nude ballet flats and like no excuse me are you kidding me this look absolutely stunning these are i think that these were 50 euros something like that so they are not cheap right they are kind of expensive but the quality on these shoes are you kidding is impeccable the only detail i'm not a fan of is the strap the fact that the strap is not white but pink is kind of throwing me off a little bit and I wish to change it. Now, can I change it? I'm not sure because this is kind of attached to the sole. So I guess I can like remove this one, but how am I gonna add a different one? I don't know, for now, I'm gonna keep it like this. Like this ballet flats are gorgeous. With all the outfits that I'm gonna show you, I wore this and they are so cute so so cute next up i got a pair of socks <laughs> and you know why like do, do i really need to mention that i got socks maybe i don't know so i actually got the socks to wear with the ballet flats these are so so good like they are super soft also so long they go up to my knees which is nice <laughs> and the fact that are this long means that you can just wear them like gathered if that makes sense i don't know what's the word for that but actually the girl on the website was wearing them just like that like wrinkled i don't know and they look so cute i actually love how they looked with the ballet flats next now we are gonna move to zara i didn't get like much stuff from mango as you can see but i mean the pieces were expensive so you know oh my god this dress this dress is 
beautiful. Let me, the, oh my, okay. The zipper is just a little annoying. I gotta say that, but oh my gosh, this dress, <gasps> Oh my God, this is a long sleeve dress that has a beautiful cutout detail right on the waist. It was out of stock for the longest time and I've been waiting and checking if they were gonna bring it back in stock and when they did, I bought it. So the fabric on this dress is this, how the fuck is this fabric called in English? Um, in Spanish it's called plisado, which is actually the same fabric as the matching set I'm wearing at the moment. I'm not sure how you say this in English. And it's beautiful. The tag doesn't have the price on, so I'm gonna put it on the screen because I cannot remember how much this was. But yeah, this dress is beautiful. The thing that I love the most about this dress is definitely the sleeves. They are so beautiful. Like it looks so expensive and it's just from Zara. The only thing is that it's a little bit small. I got a small and I'm usually a small. Let me see how many times I can say small. <laughs> I have quite of a straight body type. And even though I'm a small everywhere in my body, on my waist, my waist is wider than what a size small is meant to be. And yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit tight on my waist. You can kind of see a little bit of my rolls. Not that I really have rolls, but just a little bit. So it's not that comfy on my waist. And probably I need to just size up to make this dress a bit more comfy for myself. But I mean, this dress is gorgeous. As you can see on the try on, it's beautiful. This is gonna be such a great dress for spring and summer. I know that this is gonna sell out so fast if it's not sell out already. So if you like this dress, you need to run to Zara cause yeah, it was already out of stock. Let's hope I can find a medium. Next we got another dress and Surprise, surprise, is also a white dress. Now, this is a bodycon dress. And the special thing about this one is that it has some cutouts at the front. So this is a bodycon kind of midi or long dress. I'm 5'7", so I think that it just depends on how tall you are. For me, this is kind of a midi dress. Maybe I would want it better if it was a little bit longer, but I still love it. So for the cutouts, I actually pinched them with a little string right there. And this is not meant to be like this, right? But the reason why I did this is because this dress, it's beautiful, right? Like obsessed, so gorgeous. But when the cutouts are just how they are meant to be worn, you cannot really see them. Like they are just too, like they cover your body a little bit too much. So I decided to pinch them, right? And Oh my God, like this dress is absolutely stunning. I'm definitely gonna keep this and I'm actually gonna remove the strings and I'm gonna sew it manually. And also I'm thinking that maybe I'm gonna do the same at the top because I'm sure that I showed you in the try on just pinching it and it looks beautiful. This actually, this dress reminds me of the dress that I saw What's her name? Emma Rose, that I saw on Emma Rose. I'm gonna put the picture here. I mean, that dress is absolutely insane, but this kind of a dupe, it kind of looks amazing if I do say so myself. And the only thing that you need to do is just pinch it or I don't know, you can literally just add like a string as I did and kind of hide it or cut the excess string. I actually got it on a small, fits like a freaking glove. Gorgeous, is so stretchy, so comfy. And also this was $25.95. I'm obsessed with this. Like, honestly, so, so obsessed with it. Next up, I think that everyone needs a pair of linen pants. And this one's from Zara are my dream linen pants. So I've actually been looking for this kind of linen pants for quite some time, like for the past maybe two, summers and when i saw this once on the website i was like get those to me like i need them now bring them to my home they look like this as you can see like everything like all the colors right here are quite of a um, bone white or kind of a beige color and these are white and you can see the contrast on the different whites do you know like fun fact that the people that live in the North Pole, they can see up to, I think that it was like 100 different whites. What? That's insane. 
I think that I can also see quite some different whites, but not 100. But here you can tell the difference on the colors, right? This is a true white. As I said, this is a pair of linen pants. They are beautiful. They are 100% linen. Amazing, the quality is insane. I need to mention though that they are a little see-through. Like this kind of linen pants, if you want linen pants and that they are 100% linen and they are wearable for summer, they are gonna be a little bit see-through, right? So for me, I don't really care too much. On the try on haul, I was wearing it with a thong and you cannot really see the thong, so that's good for me. And also I see myself wearing this actually with probably a bikini under it or maybe just like a white thong and you don't don't see the thong. I actually got them on a medium. I sized up because I wanted more of a low race fit. They fit beautiful, they are so comfortable and they wear $39.95. They have this white hem at the bottom. See? So this actually adds a little bit of weight and makes the pants fall so beautifully and they are they are gorgeous. Like what else do you want from me? I'm obsessed with them. And I wear it with this beautiful vest. This is a crochet vest. The detail on this vest is beautiful. Like, look at it. <gasps> so obsessed. Also, the fabric feels super nice. It's so soft, but at the same time, quite flowy. So this is gonna be just perfect for spring and summer. And as you can see on the try on with the pants, with the linen pants, they look so, so pretty. So this vest was $25.95 and I got it on a small. I definitely wanted a small. And I think that it's still a little bit big. Maybe I would like it better if it was a little bit more crop, but I think it's beautiful. It looks so good. It's so comfortable. And yeah, I see myself wearing this so much this summer and this spring. And then I got two more pieces from Zara, right? So the first one is this blazer that you actually saw this blazer on my last Zara haul. And I was obsessed and in love with this blazer. The only problem is that it had like some smell that I didn't really like. So I decided to return it and order it again. So I ordered this blazer again. For the ones that didn't saw it, this is this blazer right here. The fit on this blazer is stunning. I, I knew I like it, but as soon as I put it on again, I was like, oh my God, like this blazer is the blazer that I need, the blazer of my dreams. And they actually have it also in black. And I'm thinking that maybe I'm also gonna get the black. This, as you can see, have shoulder pads, which makes the blazer have so much structure and the fit is beautiful. This one doesn't smell, which I appreciate. So I'm definitely gonna keep this one. For the size, I got a medium. I sized up because I always like my blazers to be a little bit big on me, just a little. And this was $79.95, right? So this is an expensive blazer, but totally, totally worth the price because it looks 10 times more expensive. Like I know it's expensive, but it looks designer. It looks insane. And then this time, as I really like the blazer, I decided to order the matching pants. So here are the matching pants. And again, the quality is insane. And I actually decided to size up on these pants because I wanted a low race fit. So I got a medium, but I think that they are a little bit too big. I'm not sold on the fit of these pants. They are beautiful, but they are also so long. And I'm 5'7", and these are really long on me. I don't know. I think that I'm probably gonna try the small, and I will decide. But I definitely want the matching pants of this blazer, because I love this blazer, and I think that matching sets are super nice to have such important pieces in anyone's closet. So I definitely want the matching pants, but I wanna try how this small fit. And that was it, you guys. Oh my God, I almost forgot about one thing. I was actually just already closing the camera and everything. I got a pair of sunglasses. Was the camera right there? So here are the sunglasses. These are really big, chunky sunglasses. And I actually don't have any kind of sunglasses this big. And when I saw them on the website, I was like, okay, I think I need those just to look bougie to look expensive and when you have one of those days when you don't want anyone to talk to you and anyone to look at you you put this on <laughs> 
I love them. You know how I look? I look like, like a rich mom like this. Driving a Mercedes or something? Don't talk to me. I'm too bougie for you. <laughs> I love them. Okay, you guys. I'm sorry that I almost forgot about this because this is such a good piece. I'm definitely keeping these sunglasses. Like, these are like my personality right now. I'm gonna make my personality just my personality. I'm gonna make my personality just around these sunglasses obsessed okay you guys so that was it i hope that you enjoyed thank you so much for watching i'll see you next week bye